Okay, and welcome back. Today we're going to do the uh, smoking. What I've got at the moment is I've got all my, my wood just burning down. I want coals. What I'm using at the moment is wood that I bought from um, the hardware shop. And then I've got two types of chips. These are wood bark. You know, that one of the trees was knocked down here. I chipped it all up. And the other is smoking chips. What, these ones I got from the, the hardware shop. So what we're going to do is smoke it. When you smoke your hive, what it does is when your hide gets wet, um, you can you can work it. You can work it again, so as it comes out nice and soft again. Basically, what it does is it seals it. Okay, well I'm just going to let that die down and we'll come back. See you shortly. Okay, as you can see, flames all died down but I've still got my coals. So what I'll do now, throw all my chips in, keep them in. You don't go to the toilet, you don't you don't do anything like that. You don't start to frame up, you gotta stop it. The other important thing, always have a bucket of water handy and I've got my hose on as well. Just in case. See it flaring up again. You don't want it flaring up. And now this is smoking enough. I can bring this back over. I might be in way. take 10 minutes it could take an hour you know, it just depends on how long you want to smoke it for and as long as you're not having problems like we're having today but that's fine that's fine that's just part of it okay now you're going to start to get really good smoke out of it Here, sometimes you can hear it. Oh, I always say the more smoke, the merrier. Yeah, I like it for really smoking. I like to be absolutely barring out of here. Remember when you've, you put all your, all your stuff together, remember to keep a little bit up the top so it draws. Just like the chimney. When you're doing smoking, try not to inhale too much of the smoke because it can, can give you a really bad dinner.
careful of, especially here in Australia, is this is only a makeshift for me, but I put it, I've used the gun too, to hold my, my paste and everything. They're called widow makers, because uh, and just above me is a couple of dead ones. Um, dead branches fall out of them all the time. You know, that's one that fell out the other day. One bigger than that fell out two days ago. And it's just uh, standing over there, so it missed me. But just be aware of where you're smoking. You know, what I've done here is I've put a star picket in the ground and I've just built it on from there. And if, if you can't, in wherever you happen to be, you might be in suburbia, just go out the bush, take a couple of star pickets. You know, even if you need four or five small. Together and just put it straight up. And there's heaps of ways of doing it. Go and have a barbecue. So just remember you can't use the barbecue smoke with all the fat. The one thing you can do, you can explain, this has been about 10 minutes now. One thing you can do if you want to know how it's going is just make a little hole and have a look. It's a very light colour. You know, you can just take one of these and put that in the hole. That's very, very light. I'd like it a little bit. It's not going to be really dark. It's going to be a light colour. But I want to leave it for at least another five, ten minutes. You know, but don't walk away. If you want any snacks or drinks or anything, make sure they're with you. You can get a flare up when you're inside. There wasn't as much smoke coming out, so you hardly any smoke coming out. Uh, yep, I've got to clear up. Now the smoke's starting to come back. Remember, if you use, um, you know, if you use this for wood chip, see it's a light colour, your smoke's going to come out light. Okay, this is the uh, hide we smoked yesterday. What I did was I let it sit overnight, and that way it just helps the, the smoke in a minute to draw a little bit further in. So what we'll do is we'll open her up. It'll be a light colour. I know it'll be a light colour because of the timber we use. Okay. Now when you when you glue these together, where you glue them, the smoke won't penetrate. So that will go hard again. And there she is. This here, that's because we had a few flare-ups. That'll wash out, won't, won't completely wash out but it will wash out a little bit better. But that's what you've got to, that's why you have to be careful of your flame. That's why you have to make sure you don't have any flames because you don't want to burn your skin. But that's all right. That's not a bad color. Mm. Yep, definitely smells smoky, <laughs> which it would. Now, if that gets wet, doesn't matter. All I do is I put it back up or sit down and, and just put, stretch it and it'll come back to exactly what this is. And this is the one we're gonna make the bag out of. Okay, so there we go. That's her done. 
So what we'll do is we'll go and start the next project. All right, be safe. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for taking the time. And we'll catch you in the next one. Take care now.